Welcome to Stat Plus, your trusted source for insights on current affairs, emerging technologies, and market trends. Today, we're diving into the Union Cabinet's approval of 12 new industrial smart cities. Despite previous smart city programs making progress in infrastructure, they've fallen short on driving true industrial growth. In this episode, we'll dive deep into the challenges and opportunities surrounding their development with a special focus on how sector-specific strategies like an ecosystem for data centers can transform these cities into engines of growth. The Union Cabinet has recently approved the development of 12 new industrial smart cities under the National Industrial Corridor Development Program with an investment of 28,600 crore rupees. This project aims to boost domestic manufacturing and drive economic growth with a target completion timeline of three years. While two of these cities, Agra and Prayagraj, overlap with the 2015 Smart Cities mission list, the remaining 10 represent fresh opportunities for industrial development. However, defining what constitutes a smart city has proven to be a complex challenge. While the focus has predominantly been on establishing infrastructure and connectivity, these alone are insufficient to guarantee industrial development. The 2015 Smart Cities mission, which saw the deployment of over 2 lakh crore rupees across various projects, has certainly led to improvements in urban infrastructure. Yet the desired industrial growth has remained largely elusive, except in sectors that were already present in these smart cities. The majority of India's recent industrial development has come from the existing major cities only. To truly unlock the potential of these new smart cities, we must move beyond basic infrastructure and align their development with specific industrial themes. Take, for instance, the data center industry, a sector poised for exponential growth. The global data center market was valued at 300 billion US dollars in 2023 and 45 gigawatts in terms of power consumption and is projected to nearly double by 2030. Currently, India's data center capacity stands at 950 megawatts, which pales in comparison to the global market, highlighting considerable untapped growth potential. Despite generating 20% of global data, India accounts for only 3% of global data center capacity, underscoring the immense potential in this sector. Yet, scaling data centers in India's existing major cities presents significant challenges. Data centers are highly resource intensive, requiring vast amounts of water and energy. For example, a one megawatt data center facility consumes approximately 25.5 million liters of water annually, which is a considerable burden in cities grappling with water scarcity. Moreover, data centers already account for 2% of India's total power consumption, a figure that could rise to 10% within the next decade. This is particularly concerning, given that most of this power is sourced from coal, contributing to a substantial carbon footprint. To foster a thriving data center hub, it is crucial to identify and develop a city in a cooler region of India, with access to renewable energy sources, sufficient water supply, and robust digital connectivity. This would be a sector-specific smart city, which would house a data center-led ecosystem. By doing so, we can overcome the scaling constraints in India's existing cities and position India as a global leader in data center infrastructure. This approach would also encourage the emergence of related industries in this smart city, such as data-oriented IT products and services, and necessitate the establishment of educational institutions specializing in relevant fields to ensure a steady talent pipeline. In order to develop more industrial smart cities, it's imperative to identify several such industrial growth sectors that face scaling constraints in existing cities. Another potential theme could revolve around solar and wind energy infrastructure, a sector that cannot be scaled in existing cities. We can attract targeted investment in these growth areas through this initiative. The ultimate goal 
should be to generate a significant percentage of India's GDP from these industrial hubs over the next one to two decades, transforming them into engines of economic growth. Thanks for tuning in to Stat Plus. As we've seen, these smart cities need more than infrastructure to succeed. They need focused industrial themes to thrive. If you found this analysis helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights on the trends shaping India's future. Stay ahead with us.